day, for the night. So hey guys, good morning and welcome back to our uh, Lenten challenges for the week. And here we are in Holy Week, we're on our way. And uh, this is gonna be a very important week in the run of our year. And even though I was hoping that I'd have all my Lenten challenges done by now, uh, we're gonna fill these in now each day of this week. And hopefully by the time we're all done, uh, we'll be to Easter and I'll have my challenges all set. And in keeping with Holy Week, I do have a few more questions left to answer. But I had a few that I wanted to answer that I chose <laughs> that have to do with the uh, story and the readings of uh, concerning Jesus and his journey to the cross and to the resurrection too. So today for Easter Monday, I have one for the reading for today. So I'm going to give you the brief overview and then I'm going to answer a question. In the reading for today, Jesus is hanging out in his buddy Lazarus's house. And Lazarus is just having him for supper uh, after he was raised from the dead long story, but the short version of the story is it's Lazarus, his sister Mary, and his sister Martha. Martha was cooking and, and serving everybody because she loves doing that, and that seems to be her role in the home at the time. Mary's the younger sister, and she's kind of attentive to Jesus and really, really, really loves him very much because he's awesome. And Lazarus and Jesus are just chilling at the table, setting the scene. And Mary, uh, in this whole bit, uh, if you remember hearing about this before, she anoints his feet with like an oil, a perfume, and, and, wa and washes them kind of a thing and wipes it away with her hair. And I'm going to explain why. The question I have today is, why does Mary do that? And in other Gospels, it might be Mary, it might be a different person, but it's happened in at least three of the four Gospels. So how come? How come it's so important that somebody clean Jesus' feet and, uh, and sometimes perfume them as well? So what does that mean? Why is it so important? So uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to use the clock today because I forgot to bring my laptop. So the clock says uh, 10 minutes to 9. So we're going to use that. Okay, you ready? And go. The reason is back in the day, I want you to think about this. If you were traveling everywhere back in the Middle East, in the desert kind of area, it's a bit more dry, it's a bit more uh, dusty. And all you had to wear was like sandals, because I mean, they didn't exactly have hiking boots invented yet. Uh, let's just think about that for a minute. How filthy would your feet be? Let me just ask you this. If you went around here now uh, in a little while in the springtime, like when the temperature goes up a bit and you start wearing your Crocs again, let's face it, you're gonna, and you didn't wear socks with them, or even if you did, if you did wear white socks with your Crocs, uh, how filthy will they get around here with all the mud and the dirt and the salt and everything going on? Now think about that, but make it dry and make it deserty and all that sort of stuff. So everywhere you went, your feet were sore, cracked, dry, and filthy. Because all you have was a couple of thongs on at best, and I mean the sandals. So uh, every time you went to somebody's house, a courtesy, a nice thing to do, would be to offer them a basin, like a bowl or a little tub or something, to dip your feet in some water and to wash them off before you came in, instead of wearing your dirty old feet into the house. Now, it's very similar to how almost everywhere we go nowadays, you got to do that with sanitizer. So think about that, only instead of having to do it because of COVID, you're doing it because, well, your feet are gross, and also it makes your feet feel a little, little bit nicer. So now take that idea of having your feet clean. Now think about it. If you were a rich person, would you wash your own feet? No, you'd have a servant to do that. You'd come in and somebody would do it for you. And that's fine, too. And sometimes there were situations where if you were an older relative or a young child who didn't know what they were at, a family member would help you. So Mary in this situation, on the one hand, is doing this to show her love and devotion to Jesus. She's washing his feet because, A, it's just a nice thing to do because trying to help somebody you love and to do something so important as to keep their feet. And it's very intimate, too. It's like something you wouldn't just do this to a stranger. You would do this to somebody you were, who you either paid you to do it or you cared about enough to do it. The perfume part, though, is important because those oils, those perfumes, also anointed his feet, which means it made him feel good. I mean, think about it. Anytime you use anointment on like a sore muscle or something, you feel better afterwards. Well, this was similar. But Jesus even says during this part, she was also preparing him for his funeral. And the reason that he said that was back in the day when they were preparing bodies to bury, they would anoint them with a similar oil, like an oil that would make the, 
the body be prepared to be laid in the in the tomb. And in this case, Jesus said this, and whether Mary knew that or not, we aren't sure. But the fact of the matter was, Jesus did. He knew his time was coming to a close. He knew at the end of this week he'd be on the cross. So that's basically why it happened. So the reason Mary did it, one, courtesy, culture, tradition, that sort of thing, but just a kind thing to do. And the other, maybe Mary knew what was going to come as well, because maybe she was paying attention, even more so sometimes than Peter and the boys. Okay, come here. Come here, come here, come here. So, that's one. Up from the ten, that's, okay, two and a half. I'm going to say two and a half. We were close. We were close. I was very close. All right, so... So there you go. That's my first question for today, for Easter Monday, dealing with the readings. And tomorrow, I'm going to do another one for the readings for then. So until then, stay safe, pray safe, and get ready for round two.